Hi, this is Hack Informer. Alright, so you uh, you got a new PlayStation Vita, or you got a used one, and you have lower firmware in your PS Vita, and either you wanted to talk to the PlayStation 3 or the PC and get it talking back and forth. Or you want to load the exploit into the machine and run your own PSP games inside of it through emulation which is in firmware 2.02 .02. so you have a few options here with what I'm about to show you so you just bought a brand new PSP which is probably going to be at firmware 201 and you put Call of Duty in it it upgrades to 202 do not let it touch the internet and update now if you got a used one you're probably out looking for a certain particular firmware and you probably already know what you're looking for either firmware 181 or firmware 2.02 .02, which those have the kernel for kernel in it for the firmware so you can actually access the whole PSP totally noob as wrote in a great emulation so, for further note, you're going to need a new or used PS Vita with lower firmware, a PlayStation 3, and a PC. So, if I was to plug this into the PlayStation 3 or the PC with lower firmware like this one does have, I'll just show you. It's at 202. My camera's not the greatest. So, a further note, that's it. So I'm going to just plug it into the PS3 to show you real quick. Okay. Let's go to the content manager. And it wants me to update. Well, it's the same thing on the computer. So let's go over to the computer and change open. Let's change CMA into Open CMA. Okay, now on to the, the desktop. What you're going to need to do is download a program called Open CMA, which I have that on my website, hackinformer.com. I'll put it in the description. Then you open up the folder here once you're done zipping it. So you'll copy all these folders you have right here, all these files. And you just copy. Next, you're going to go to your start button or you know, however you get to my computer and go ahead and go to my computer, the C drive, and once you're in the C drive, you want to go to Program Files x86. That is where the Sony file is. Once you find the Sony file, go ahead and double click on it. You'll see it says Content Manager. Once you're in here, all you want you to do is paste these files in here. So after you're done pasting these files in here, you'll see a one that says run. Go ahead and right click on that. And we want you to run it as an administrator. Okay, now that is done. You can close this out. What you want to do is check down here to make sure the program's there. Since the program's not there, I would recommend keeping up this Sony content, which where you added the files. Keep this one up and double click on CMA and you'll see it pop up in the bottom right hand corner. 
Now once it's there, we want to go ahead and hook up the PS Vita to the computer to see if we can get them to talk back and forth now. So now that we did the files in the computer, now we're going to go ahead and get this to talk again. Alright, and it's not looking for firmware at all. So in the midst of this right here, since it's not looking for no firmware, we're going to go ahead and turn on the PlayStation 3. Now this is how you're going to get the game exploit into your PSP excuse me your PS Vita with lower firmware so now what you want to do is take the PS Vita and you want to unplug it from there and then just plug it straight directly into your PS3 so, for further note, you're going to get some errors. You're going to hear some noise. Don't worry about it. Just plug it in the machine. You'll notice that even the PS3 noticed. On here, you'll see a thing. Now hit OK. You notice it goes away. Well, hit PS3. And you're talking to your PS3 again. So now you want to get the exploit onto your PSP with lower firmware that you just bought or been hanging on to. There you go. And boom. Oh. And you can do others. Most of them will be in the PSP exploits. So there's Uno. There's Uno. Right above Nova and Apache Overkill too. So I have both of those. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer one over. There you go.